What's up, Maxi Climber fam? I'm Coach Jamie. To my right, we've got Bao. To my left, we got Dairon. So this right here is your beginner high intensity interval training class. It's only gonna be 10 minutes long. You're gonna sweat your booty off and we're gonna get one of the best workouts you've ever had. So you're gonna go ahead and step onto your climber. Palms facing away, this is your normal grip. We're gonna start off with a light warm up, reaching all the way up, fully extending those arms, getting that body going, getting that blood flowing. Good job, reaching all the way up, full extensions. Make sure that you're leaning into your machine. You wanna be very careful not to lean away from the climber. You wanna stay in towards there, keeping that core activated. All the way up, perfect. All right, we got about 20 more seconds left to warm up, and then we're gonna get the ball going with your first sprint of the day. All right. So again, we're gonna be working with intervals today. It's gonna be high intensity, but it's at a beginner level. If at any point you feel like you need to stop to breathe throughout your sprint, you wanna cut it short, just come back right here. This is our warm up, and it's also where we're coming back for our active recovery. So our first sprint, 30 seconds, small movements in three, two, one, ladder it up. All the way, quick movements. Make sure you're not holding your breath, you're inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. There we go, keep it up. Don't stop moving, we don't quit. We got 10 seconds left. That's it right there for three, two, one. Recover, beautiful job. That right there was our first sprint. It was only 30 seconds. Again, if you need to cut it shorter than that, if you need only 15, go for it. So reaching all the way up. Right now, we are taking a one minute active recovery, 30 second sprint. Make sure you're fully extending those arms, nice and slow. There you go. Beautiful job. So, high intensity interval training, which is what we're doing today. That is amazing for your body right there. You're confusing your body, you're confusing your heart. You're fluctuating that heart rate. That's what's gonna help you burn extra calories for the next 36 hours. So we got our next sprint coming up in about 10 seconds. We're gonna hit it for another 30. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Get ready and light it up in three, two, one, let's go. Quick movements. There you go. Feel that burn, fight through it. We're halfway there, 15 seconds. That's it. We don't quit, 10 more seconds. Keep it up. For three, two, one, recover. So remember, we wanna go back to your active recovery. We don't stop moving, we just slow it down. If you need a little bit more recovery, bring your hands down to the rails. Feel free to step down. This right here is your little bit of a break. Feel free to grab your water, drink a little bit. Regroup yourself, focus on that breathing. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we're gonna go right back into it. This time, we're gonna reverse our grip. So let's bring our hands back up, palms facing in, reaching all the way up. So now by reversing your grip, we are targeting these biceps a little bit more. That normal grip we started off with, that's a little bit more triceps, the bigger muscles in your butt and your arms. Now we're targeting our biceps, all the way up. Get ready for that first sprint in three, two, one, light them up. 30 seconds, that's all you need right here. Keep it up, keep it up. You got this. Woo! Halfway point, 15 seconds. Don't hold that breath. There you go. A little faster. For three, two, one, recover. Beautiful job, guys. Nice and easy. 
There you go. Make sure you're keeping that reverse grip. Nice and slow. So you want to make sure you're reaching that hand all the way up. You're not only getting that toning in, but you're getting that stretch in your arms, that stretch in your back, much needed. All right, guys, so we're halfway through this workout. We're almost done. All right, are you ready to bring those hands down to the rails? All right, so right now what I'm showing you guys is your active recovery for the next few minutes. We're gonna be playing with our lower body. All right, our next interval, we're gonna go down for two, right back up for two. You ready? All right, for three, two, one, down, one, two, up, one, two, down, one, two, up, one, two, down, one, two, keep it up. There you go. So now we're incorporating some squats. We're removing our hands from the workout, letting all of that focus go to the lower body. We got some glute activation. We got some quad activation every time we get low. There you go. Five more seconds, you got this. For three, two, one, recover. Nice and slow movements. Slow it down. Your goal here is to try to not stop moving. Remember, it's only a 10 minute workout. You can do this anywhere. The beautiful thing about this timer, it is portable. Bring it in front of your TV. Bring it in your kitchen. Bring it to your garage. You can use this anywhere. And it's only 10 minutes. That's how long it takes you to... All right, we're gonna go down once again. In three, two, one. Stay low. Legs only. Make sure you're leaning into that machine. Keep it up. There you go. Bring those knees all the way up. Drive those heels all the way down. Stay nice and low. Keep it up. There you go. Remember, if you need to stop to recover, come right back up. Drive those heels all the way down. Fully extend those legs. Bring those knees all the way up. There you go. You guys ready to come back up or you're feeling comfortable? Perfect. You're feeling perfect. All right, we'll stay a little bit lower. Five more seconds. For a three, two, one. Right back up, slow it down. All right, guys, so I know it's feeling difficult, but keep it going. One of these days, this is gonna feel like your warm up. And then you're gonna wanna watch two of these and do 20 minute videos. So let's just keep it up. Nice and easy. How you feeling? Awesome job, guys. You made it this far, we are almost done. All right, guys, so we're gonna lead right into our cool down. Hands come back up, nice, slow reaches. Let that heart rate slow down. One of the best tools you can use to help that heart rate is that breathing technique. I cannot stress that enough. In through the nose, out through the mouth. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go a little bit slower. All the way up, right back down. Let's go ahead and reverse that grip. Get those biceps getting that stretch in as well. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. And we got everybody's favorite part coming up in three, two, one. Hands come down to the stationary handles. Drop your heels. You're gonna feel all that stretch going right up those calves. Lean into your machine. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> Carefully step off your climber. Feel free to grab onto your handlebar. We're gonna go right into that quad stretch. Keeping that heel in, driving that knee down. Feel free to grab onto your handlebar to lean forward as well. You're gonna feel this go right into the hamstrings. Slowly come back up. Let's go ahead and switch those legs. Always stretch. 
after every repetitive movement, especially exercising, especially climbing. There you go. Beautiful job. It is imperative to stretch after each workout. Go ahead and lean forward. Feel free to switch your hands if you need to. All the way down. All right, guys. Awesome job. Thank you for joining me. Good. Thank you for coming out, showing up for yourself, getting that burn in. You're one step closer to your goal. Great job. All right.